behind the yellow rope, guys. Thank you. Do we need to take me back? Hey, guys, I'm going to sit under right here. Oh. What? Hair dye? Did oh. you just dye your hair? No, I dyed it on Sunday. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Casey, they should put you inside the building. Inside. Pick him up with the cream. And then put a boot. I see know how I feel about that. Uh, him wanted me to be lifted up by the crane. People are finally going to stop complaining about the flag of that thing. Oh, how are you Something about turban. I don't know, that's Jake. Jake with him. I sit on it and Oh man, my name was too small. <laughs> Ms. Batista wanted to let you come and put your hands in the wet concrete about a month and a half ago. We didn't let her do that. So today we let everybody sign the beam. The beam's going to be in the building forever and ever. It's going to be above room 215 right up over there where the guys are sitting up. See, they're waving up there. They're waiting for it to come. So let's hear a big shout out for Ms. Batista. Let's hear a big shout out for Ms. Cindy that keeps everything working. A shout out for your teachers. Everybody turn around and wave at Mr. King. All right, we have today with us the architect of the building, the man who designed the building, John Sheehan from Studio E. He's right over here. Come on, give him a little more love than that. Where's Mike Anderson? Mike Anderson over there, he's the man in charge of everything that goes on in this building. He's with Bicor Contractors. Give him a lot of love. Come on. All right, and how about a really big shout out for all the iron workers here that are hanging up waiting for this beam. And last but not least, the most important guy here, the crane operator. Give it up for the crane operator. So is everybody ready? Yeah! On three, I want you to do raise that beam. You ready? One, two, three. Raise that